Hallo. Today we're looking at Net Runner 19.1 and it is based on Debian and it's kernel 4.19 and it's KD Plasma 5.14.3. What I like about Net Runner is they installed a lot of different codecs and things like that, so most things will just work out of the box. But it's a uh, they they took KDE, they put a lot of their own flavor into it as you can see, but they kept KDE still like you can feel and enjoy it and you can experience like that is you can feel like it's vanilla still vanilla KDE with a lot of adjustments. But the adjustment doesn't take the power of KDE away. It's quite a neat combination. So the menu, it is one of the alternative menus for KDE, as you can see. And if we open up our system monitor, you will see we are starting off with about 600 megabytes of RAM. It's not, it's really not bad for operating systems, a bit higher the normal KDE systems, but it's really, really actually good. So, and if you look at the menus, you have your familiar KDE menus, plus one. It is not so familiar, but it's not the first time i seen it in a KDE desktop. It's, just, it's a simple menu. I kind of like it, as it's very simple, as you can see. And then they got Synaptic, the software center, as well as Discover, the software center. And as you can see, they got a few Electron apps also in this side system, which is quite interesting. So they got WhatsApp, not like a native client, it's just an Electron app and things like that. The KDE, as you can see, it opens up straight to Firefox, so it's just basically a link but it's cool that they thought of it and I'm sure many people will enjoy that so if you go to the info center the system settings let's quickly go there the system settings is mm, sorry for the noise the system settings is basically okay the e-system settings but there's a few tweaks to it like the personal start off so it's not the exact layout which we all are used to but everything you want in your system is here and you can also reach your system information straight from your system settings which is really quite interesting so they changed it but it's still there it's just a bit of a reshuffling so as you can see the KDE apps are 18.8 .8, so it's not the latest but it's also so it's a great set of release and if you go to Dolphin, the file manager, you will see it doesn't look exactly as the normal KDE file system, but it's a very well laid out. I love the showing groups, department, how to split it up. It's really well thought of and very, very powerful. So I'm really impressed with that and you can open up the terminal easy and you can see here this kernel 4.19 and it's very easy to manage and you have done a great job by keeping it, making it more powerful than what it normally is. It's fantastic. So they did make a few adjustments which just works just fine but they kept the core of what it of what KDE, KDE is. One thing you got to notice is, let's quickly lock the screen. I haven't seen it before. So it's a basic normal KDE locks wallpaper. So this is a bit of a disappointment. I would have hoped it would be the same as the default background. But if you click, click the off button or the other buttons you don't get like which you normally get in KDE like the like the screen popping up with all the options again it turns your computer straight off and things like that so there's a few adjustments here which make it different than your normal KDE but they 
kept like the course of everything still here, which to me is a nice release and I think many people will really enjoy it because it's stable, it's reliable, it's KDE with a few adjustments to make it better for better and that's great and I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, have a great day, see you soon.